for your lord. But not as Lord O'Neill, not as O'Neill, Earl of Tyrone, but as O'Neill, your king. <laughs> the key lies in the west. Give me the tribes of Connacht, the Burks of Mayo, the Burks of Clare Galway to ride with me, and we will drive the English from this land. Connacht and Ulster together. <laughs> I showed him favor here in my court, a child of barbarian parents. I confirmed him in his estate and title, Earl of Tyrone. Twice I forgave him his rebellious conspirators. Here in this room on his knees, weeping, he protested his love for my person, his fealty to my throne. And I, I pardoned him and permitted him to return to that benighted land. For what? So he could carry on his traitorous enterprises? I think of the drain upon our treasury. It's endless fighting over desolate bogs. My generals made ridiculous. My colonists despoiled by Irish villains. Captain, you must go to Ireland. At once, Your Majesty. I look to you, my sailor, to achieve what my soldiers have failed to do. Bring me O'Neill in chains. The Earl of Tyrone in chains? No Earl when I've finished with him. Even now he spreads his net of rebellion into Connaught. To Mayo in the West he now goes, seeking to unite the warring clans there, the Burks, under his O'Neill banner. Mayo is a maritime county. You must prevent this alliance. Go now. But mind, do not shed his blood. Your Majesty knows I shall be most careful. I want to kneel here, in chains. <laughs> But there's a boat coming from her, Captain. I think she's got a prisoner on board. Shall we do the honors? Come on, get up on that deck. Take your hands off me. I don't need your shoving. That's a woman there, ill tree. Here, madam. Allow me. Allow ye, is it? Allow ye what? I prefer to stand on me own two feet. Ah, Captain Drake, I believe, sir. Aye. Captain Staunton at your service. I heard you were in these waters. I kept a lookout for you. What can I do for you, Captain? You can take a cargo of trouble off my hands. An unwelcome guest who would have bowled at me three days ago if we hadn't shot her ship from under her and pulled her out of the Atlantic. And who is she? Let me tell you, I'm Grace O'Malley. And I was boarding ships before some of ye were pupped. Without the usual courtesies, it seems. What courtesies? A high jig from the yard arm, or a swift kick over the side. That's all I ever gave him, and enough too. Grace O'Malley, Captain. She's a pirate. Aye, and the greatest scourge of the Mayo coast, for all the size of a ship. And now we've got our hands on her. If you take my advice, masters, you'll swing her. I haven't got the authority, or I'd hang her myself. Never you mind the size of my ship. Better for you to think of the size of me family. I've a brace of sons ashore that you'll do well to consider. Are you asking leniency for the sake of the children, madam? Children, is it? <laughs> a pack of the fightinest by-blows any fun mother ever had. And let me tell you, when me son Theobald, or me son Richard the Devil's Reaping Hook gets word of this, you'll never get round the corner of this country. All right, lock her up. That's the truth, I'm telling you. Ah, take your hands off me, you scalpies. I tell you that, I tell you that, I tell you that. Let go of me, will you? Let me go! You misbegotten pack of Sassanac sea sweepers! You'll pay for this, Staunton! And you too, Drake, for all your fine English airs! Madam, you bet. Madam, is it? Madam O'Malley! Well, let me tell you! The O'Malleys with themselves are one thing, and the Burks of Mayo and the Burks of Galway are another. But when the O'Malleys and the Burks get together, then the Lord help the lot of you. The Burks, did you Burks, say? Burks, I Burks. The local tribes. Tribes, he calls about the Burks? Though we were savages. That's her sons. And we descended from the kings so. and queens of Ireland. a member of the family, do you, you see? Come on, Jack Stone, I'm working me hard. Right. You wait till I get my hands on you. You'll be sorry. You'll be sorry. 
Over there, lad. Well, picked up a tartar there, Staunton. You should have left her in the water. What? The sea would have boiled. What do you know about her? Where does she come from? You saw the castle in the inner harbor. The boat where she came into your moorings. That's where she lives? They say the rope from her ships pass into her bedchamber through a hole in the wall. They say she winds them around her wrist. Well, whatever for? So as I won't get lost. You're an Irishman, Skipper, but a loyal one, thank heavens. Tell me about the Burks and this woman. The Burks? Bad luck to them. Her son Richard is chief of one of the Burke clans by his father. The other, Theobald, is chief of another by marriage. The two lads spend their lives fighting each other. Then these are the Burks that O'Neill is out to pacify. Hmm. He'll have his hands full. I wonder if these sons will be open to a bargain. A bargain? We want O'Neill. Do you think they would exchange him for their pirate mother? Well, I only know one thing, Captain. They'll never ransom her worth money. But it's worth a try. If I was you, I'd try Theobald first. He won't knife you, as long as you're looking at him. How would I find Theobald? Well, he's in these parts. Go ashore, Captain. One of them will find you. Go ashore here, you mean? Just here. This is Buck country. The devil take it. Learn about Grimble. How many men will you take, Captain? Just Diego. Just one man, Captain. Stand by, Lord! Well, I have to show them I'm coming as a friend. We come as friends of Theobald. You're English. Friends of mine? From the ship? Yes. I am Theobald, a Burke of Clare Galway. And I have only two enemies in the world, the Burks of Mayo and the English. Wait! I come from your mother, Grace O'Malley. She's aboard my ship, a prisoner. Aye. We saw it happen. Well, what are you asking? Money. No. There's to be a conference of the Burks. Who do you expect there? Ah, Richard, me half-brother. Do you want him alive or dead? You'll have him in exchange. We'll surprise him. I don't want Richard. Who else meets you there? The Lord O'Neill. Oh, it's him you want. No, no, take Richard. I'll give you Richard. You can have him hung by tonight. O'Neill. But sure, that'd be treachery. And Richard, your brother? Me half-brother. Sure, I'd see him in hell the same as he'd see me. Richard won't do. It's O'Neill we want. And if we don't get him, your mother may hang for her piracy. Oh, here, wait a minute. It wouldn't be a nice thing for a man to have it said that his mummy was hung. Oh, we better see Richard. But don't threaten hanging Grace to him. Sure, he's only a jobber. You'll have to throw in something with her to make it a bargain. Something big. A cannon piece? You could use one here. Aye, he'd like that. He's all for guns just now. But we must come to terms. Nothing must happen to the mother. It'd be a great sin. And when you get to know her, she's all that gentle. Where are you all? Why don't you come when I call ye? Am I shouting here all to myself? Did you want something, madam? I'll show you what I want, you brat, if you come within reach of me arms. Fetch me the head sea soldier, do you hear? Oh, Captain Drake, well, he's gone ashore. Well, get me the old... The one that wanted to head me down the ladder. I... I want to talk to him. Master Grenville, well, what about? Ah, look of Ornine. Look at me poor wrist. Look at the way the irons is gallon me poor wrist. Is, uh... Is that the wrist your ship is more to at night when you're in bed? I ah, so you heard about that. Well, what do you think of it? It seems to me, madam, that it would take more than a pair of irons to hurt that wrist. Now look here! You miserable little gigging! Could you have me crush your bones and drag you in here through the bars? Oh, will you let me go, madam, please? Well, will you get old Grenville for me, will you? Yes, yes, I'll get him for you. I will! Go on, then! Or oh, before I finish, I'll get your gizzard and then I'll feed it to me son Richard for his dinner! Richard! Richard, quick, your brother's coming. Any sign of O'Neill? Ah, it's not time yet. Dear ball is early. Turn the gun round that way. The way he's coming. But the truth! 
Your brother comes under safe conduct from the Lord O'Neill himself. How can the Lord O'Neill or myself help it? If a gun that's only brought here as a present should go off all accidental like and blow the poor Thulamar on to hell, even if only a little ahead of his time. <laughs> God save you, Richard. And God save you, kindly Theobald. I was only just thinking about you this blessed minute. And all the time he had to be creeping in the back, instead of walking in the front like a man. To be carried out the back like a corpse. <laughs> oh, well done, who's that you have there with the chin whisker? Seems he's the head pirate of the Queen of England, no less. Francis Drake. Ah, good man to judge a cannon. What do you say, sir, to this? From a Spanish galleon. Sunk off Morani by an Irish cow. <laughs> <laughs> I take it the cow was showing riding lights, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like the lantern on a cow's horn to lure the Spaniards on the rocks on a stormy night. For the English, you'd need a mermaid comb in her hair. <laughs> How'd you like the gun? Uh, a pretty piece in its day. But now I'd rather you fired it than me, sir. It's cracked. Oh, it'll do the Lord O'Neill. He's cracked as well. <laughs> <laughs> Richard. A word with you before O'Neill comes. The Sassanachs have the irons on the mother. The mother? Oh, it's not possible. No one could put irons on me mother. <sighs> hey! You want to see me? Is this the way to treat a lady? And you a fine English gentleman? Well, madam, I, I can't say I'm happy to see a woman in such case, but when you took up piracy... Did I ever ask to be a pirate? Sure isn't it the only way bad luck comes to an unfortunate girl? Well, I haven't seen one date to piracy before. Ah, uh, haven't you been hove to and boarded in every part in the world? Be far worse lady pirates than me. <laughs> Madam, please. Oh, what was there left for me but to take to the sea? When you've 14 or 15 children to bring up, there's nothing for it but piracy. Now, calm yourself, madam, please. Oh, how can I help it when I look down and see the irons on me poor wrists? Oh, the shame of it. The pain I can bear when I see the skin being pulled off me poor arms. But, oh, the shame of it. Well, very well, madam. John, get the boatswain to knock off these chains. Oh, Master Grenville, if only I'd met you before I became the victim of circumstance. <laughs> I'd like well to see the old bellwether trussed up for the shearing. It amuses you, sir? <laughs> You'd let your mother hang? Oh, the same as she'd let me. Unless, of course, we made a... A bargain? Ah, yes, but a proper bargain. The Lord O'Neill for Grace O'Malley. Sure, that'd be given much for little. What did you give as well as Grace for O'Neill delivered into bondage? A gun? A gun. But a better one than that cracked piece out there. To sell out the leader of the Irish people. They'd make ballads about us. No, there's too much at stake. Yes, your mother. Give it a take, my mother. With O'Neill, a man might ride far and high. With O'Neill, a man might swing high. Or without O'Neill. Sooner or later, the Queen will crush O'Neill and everyone siding with him. If a man wasn't with him. If a man maybe gave him over to you. What then? An earldom? The Lord O'Neill. Are you with me, gentlemen? Outside, after dinner, when you're showing him the gun, I'll draw my sword. Well, Richard. To join with you. I don't know. Welcome to your honor's lordship. Answers Drake. <laughs> A happy chance, my lord. We are friends of old. And enemies. But friendly enemies. Then we'll break bread on it. There you are. Oh, Captain. Oh, the pain of it's given me a thirst. You better have some water. Water? Oh, God help us. You'd never know what you'd get from it. Ah, Master Grenville, you're a scholar and a gentleman. I knew it from the first. It's a pity we've nothing stronger to drink to your kind and generous nature. Master Grenville. Bozan, <laughs> stop her! Oh, I always breathe more freely after a meal. A meal fit for a king. But we have no king. We may have. Meanwhile, we have the Queen's envoy. Tell me. How is my dear Gloriana? Does she think of me? Constantly. Last time I saw her, she could speak of little else. <laughs> you must take her my devotion, if you return. Tell her you found me at dinner with my Lord Deputy-elect. One of these gentlemen? Not naturally, a Burke. 
The one who shows himself most eager in my interest. Uh, my lord, it is time to show you the gift I have for you. A Spanish gun, in proof of my devotion to your cause. My excellent. Well, go on, my lord. Inspect it freely. Mm, well, a gun these days may well turn the tide of victory. Two would be better still. The four. Of course, with uh, powder and shot. Mm, I would enable even the Burks to wipe each other out. Divide and conquer. Used to be the axiom, I think. You say so. Seeking to divide a kingdom. Who's with me? I am. O'Neill, Elizabeth has sent me to take you to her. Well, Elizabeth is far away. But Grace O'Malley is in my hands, a prisoner. And her sons have agreed to exchange you for Did her. Did ever a misfortunate woman have such children? What kind of a way is this to be going on? Or maybe tis Captain Drake is setting a bad example. There now, let's take it nice and easy. And we'll decide on a program that'll give the visitors the best entertainment. Tell me, Drake, why did you come here? I came for you. Did Gloriana send you? Her Majesty requires your presence at the palace. Hmm. Or the tower. The choice is yours, but your time runs short. Grace O'Malley's compliments to your captain. Would you join her and her family on the battlements? I told you your time was running short. You can look at a gun all you like, but in the end you've got to try it. And I'm gonna try this one now, just the way it happens to be pointing. I hope nothing gets in the way. The match! Are you watching, Captain Francis? I mean, now you're a man that understands these things. I am indeed. The ship, master! The shop won't carry. <laughs> <laughs> A valuable addition to your ordinance, my Lord O'Neill. Hardly enough to earn appointment as Lord Deputy. <laughs> the gun's all right. <laughs> then it's the gunnery. Yes, we've got matters of more importance to discuss. It just needs a bigger charge, that's all. Reload. We're twice. No, three times the amount of powder. I'll show you what the gun can do. I know what it'll do. Yeah, you'd like to belittle a gun, wouldn't you? This time I'll show you. Are you right? right. Get out of me way. What do you know about guns? It won't lay into the windward. That's right. This time, Captain. No, Diego, no. Poor Master Grenville. This'll singe his golden hind. No, no Diego, no! <laughs> <laughs> I told you it was cracked. Diego, where's Diego? Ah, bad sets to him. I hope he's blown to smithereens. He is. In the sea, what's left of him? Has the misbegotten hound come up yet? Just let me take one crack at him. Ah, oh, he won't come up again. He's finished. The devil take him. We'd be the same if Holy Providence hadn't been with us. This is all you're doing. Well, let's stop beating about the bush. Forget the hullabaloo, all of you. And let's get on with what we came for. Captain Drake can cool his heels till we decide what to do with him. As our guest, surely. Close your mouths! You battle-looking pair of pacons and listen to me. We're here to treat with O'Neill. Tis unity this country wants. I don't give a kiss of brogues about unity. Sure not we all right as we are. Oh, sure. Where would you find a lovelier family? Always ready to lend each other a knife in the back. But look what's fallen into our lap now. The Lordship of all Connors. For me? For you? I'm a Burke. I'm a Burke, too. Only by marriage. Oh, sure. None of us is thinking so highly of marriage. All right, I'm the fighting one. <coughs> Come on outside and I'll fight you. You take your hands off me. They don't call me the devil's reaping hook for nothing. Sit down. Sit down or I know a reaping hook that'll have its edge blunted. Sergeant, send for Captain Drake. What do we want him for? He's an Englishman. He'll have a natural cunning. We'll pick his brains before we bash him in. 
They've got the captain. Boatswain, lower a boat. Aye, aye, sir. Number one crew, lower your boat. O'Neill is here, now, in our hands. Who wants to be Lord Deputy when he can be king? You'd have to kill O'Neill. Who will? While we'd be hanging Drake in public, who we could be doing away with O'Neill in private? You'll neither of you get rid of O'Neill. It needs a man. Did you hear me, Captain? I did, madam. And you're right. It needs a man. Or else... <coughs> or else... Else? A woman like you to take over O'Neill. What if it took the words right out of me mouth? Now, what mother, mother, look! Sure! Why would we want to get rid of a fine man like O'Neill? Waste of a lovely fella! We can still keep it all in the family. Francis, darling, sit down. I knew you had more brains than a sheep's head. Richard, send out this minute for His Blessed Holiness, the Lord Abbot of Croma Patrick. The Lady O'Neill. <laughs> so, so they had to kill the old goat instead. <laughs> <laughs> Come in, my lord. Our hostess is ready to accept your proposal. Of alliance? Aye, alliance indeed. Of marriage. There's nothing to cement relations like a well-thought-out marriage. <laughs> <laughs> we wait in this moment on His Reverence the Lord Abbot, our old family friend and spiritual advisor, <laughs> to do the trick. You are agreeable, of course. There's a party of pricks, men! They're ashore! What? Come on, sink them! Wait, is it the wedding? There'll be no wedding! Come on, Drake, help me! <laughs> You. Lord Abbot. When is the wedding? I'm afraid the wedding will not now take place. Come, my Lord O'Neill. You pair of omadoms. You've just lost me the best husband I might ever have had. Did you miss your honeymoon, my lord? Captain Drake? I'm no coward, as you well know. But I'd face a thousand Elizabeths in all their anger before I'd suffer the fate that awaited me up there. <laughs> Angels and the ministers of grace defend us marriage with Grace O'Malley. My, yeah! <laughs> God save the Queen. God save the Queen! <laughs>